all know running an AI model on any device needs a huge computational power resulting in high power consumption. Meet the Max 78000 FTHR from Analog Devices. This is a new breed of AI microcontrollers built specifically to enable neural networks to execute at ultra low power. I will walk you through its key features, how to set it up, and finally, we will create an example project to see it in action. Here is the best part. You can get this board for free by participating in the IoT and AI Project Design Challenge, a free online hardware project competition. To participate, simply submit your idea and get the development board for free. Using this board, you can build your amazing project and submit it to get a chance to win prizes worth rupees 6 lakh and cool goodies. All this is possible thanks to our sponsor Digikey. Digikey is recognized as the global leader and continuous innovator in the cutting-edge commerce distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. Digikey is providing more than 15.9 million components from over 3,000 quality named brand manufacturers with the industry-leading breadth and depth of products in stock and available for immediate shipment. Digikey also supports engineers, designers, builders and procurement professionals with a wealth of digital solutions, frictionless interactions and tools to make their job more efficient. Now, let's see this board overview and features. In the box, we got a USB cable, male header pins and a handy card showing pinouts. Finally, we have a Max 78000 FTHR board. This board has the dual code Max 78000 microprocessor. Its first core is ARM Cortex M4 running at 100 MHz and another core is a RISC-V based coprocessor running at 60 MHz. The microprocessor also has an FPU unit. An FPU enhances the speed and accuracy of floating point calculations. Without it, applications that rely on intensive computations such as AI, image processing and video processing, 3D rendering, etc. can experience a significant drop in performance. This processor is also optimized for running convolutional neural networks or commonly known as CNN. It is a type of deep learning model that is specifically good at detecting patterns from data. It is very commonly used for most of the image processing applications. CNN optimization significantly boosts performance and efficiency in tasks such as image classification, object detection, and other computer vision applications. Coming back to numbers, the CNN engine on this board has a separate wet storage memory of 442 KB and CNN data memory of 512 KB. This compact board supports the CNN networks up to 3.5 million parameters. It is best fit for age devices and low power vision tasks. A real-time battery powered or AI embedded applications where efficiency and speed are critical, this board is a practical choice. Speaking about memory, this board has 512 KB of flash memory, 128 KB of SRAM and 16 KB cache. This board supports all the major communication protocols including I2C, SPI, UART, OneWire, etc. Even we have option for low power UART. It has an operating temperature range of negative 40 degrees Celsius to 105 degrees Celsius, making it compatible with most of the industry standards. Let us see what's actually on the board. The Max 78000 FTHR is a compact module. It measures only 66 by 23 mm. You might notice uneven pins on the both sides of the board, 12 pins on the right side and 16 pins on the left side, but it's breadboard compatible. If we look at the top, we have got a micro USB connector. This board has a JTAG connector which is used for debugging a RISC-V processor core. For most of the ARM processors, SWD debugger is already embedded in the processor itself. Same is the case here with the ARM processor core. The JST connector located near the USB port is for connecting the battery. Thanks to the onboard power management IC, you can simply plug in battery. No external charging modules needed. The battery charges automatically when USB power is supplied. Also, charging current is limited to 51 mA, making it compatible with unpowered USB hubs as well. Do you see a button near battery connector? Well, this board has 5 onboard buttons in total. 
This one is SW3 or Switch 3. When the board is powered off, pressing this button will turn it on. And when the board is powered on, pressing this button for 12 seconds turns the board off. This button is SW4. This is the reset button. Pressing this will reset the board. This button is SW5, Dappling Adapter button. This is used for Dappling firmware updates. The remaining SW1 and SW2 are user programmable. We can set them up to get user inputs. We don't even need to worry about adding external cameras for image processing projects. We have got an onboard VGA camera. This really makes life easier. We might fail to notice at the first glance but there are three very tiny RGB LEDs on the board. D1, D2 and D3. D1 can be programmed by user and used for debugging or general purpose. RGB LED D2 is connected to an onboard power management IC. This can be used for indicating battery status. An RGB LED D3 is a dappling status LED. This cannot be controlled by the user. In the bottom section, we can see an onboard digital microphone. This will save time for projects that require audio processing. At the very bottom, we have got two audio jacks of 3.5 mm. These are stereo audio jacks, one used for providing audio input and other for providing audio output. At the back side of this board, we can also see a micro SD card slot. I really like the fact that many external modules required for AI projects are already embedded on board. If you are planning to build projects that requires to perform tasks like object detection and classification, audio processing such as multi-keyword recognition, sound classification, facial recognition, etc., I don't see any better choice than Max 78000 FTHR. So please check this board out for your next project. With that said, let's write our first program. For programming the microcontroller, Maxim Microcontroller's SDK, MSDK is required. It supports development environment of Visual Studio Code, Eclipse IDE, IAR Embedded Workbench, Kale MDK, and Command Line Development is also supported. For now, we will stick with Eclipse IDE as it is recommended one. If you wish to check out other options in detail or know more about running your own AI ML model on this board, you can check the links in the description below. Step 1. Installing MSDK For that, click the link given in the description below. This is the official website of Unlock Devices. On this page, we can find all the important information about the Max 78000 FTHR board. Schematics, datasheet, bill of materials, everything. If you scroll down to the tools and simulation section, we can download Maxim Micros SDK. .txt file is for Windows, .dmg file is for Mac, and .run file is for Linux. Go ahead and download the correct version for your OS. Quick note here, we are required to log in to Unlock Devices website before downloading. I have already logged in. After downloading the file, open it and follow the installation steps. I will recommend you to keep default options and default storage locations selected as it is. Installation might take some time depending on your internet speed. Wait till it is done. After that, we can move on to the step 2. Step 2. Programming Let us run the first program. I am on Windows laptop currently. After the installation, the Ellipse ID is also installed. Open it. We can go to files. Now we can write code from scratch but for now we will import an example. For that, click on import. Select the general existing project into workspace. Now navigate to the in the C drive. Inside Maxim SDK folder, you will see an examples folder. Inside examples, select the Max 78000 folder. Here you can see lot of examples for our board. UART, ADC, SPI, you can explore them later. For now, we will go ahead with CNN examples, RPS demo. Click finish. We can see the files listed here. You can click on readme file where you can find all the details about project. We can run the project. 
but before that let us go to the make file here we are needed to change the board to FTHR Rev A After that save it. I will connect the board now. By clicking on the build button we can check if it is compiling. Great, zero errors. Now let us click on the run button. We will need a serial monitor to view the output. So let us open the Arduino IDE for that. Select any random board and the baud rate will be 115200. Before you test, remember to remove the protective film above the camera. Now Max 7800 will identify whether it is seeing rock, paper or scissor. Now how this works is, after pressing the switch 1, it captures the image and after identifying whether it is rock, paper or scissor, it will print the result on the serial terminal. So let us test it. I will show rock, paper and scissors. We can observe that it has identified all three correctly. In this way, we can use this board to build an AI application, whether it is object detection, image processing project, audio processing projects, with onboard CNN optimization, FPU, and lot of other features. This board is ideal for AI projects especially the ones which require slow power consumption. If you are planning to build your next project, you should definitely consider Max 78000 FTHR board. Let's see how to buy this board from DigiKey. Let us first sign in to a DigiKey account. If you don't have an account, you can register. For that, visit digikey.in, click on login or register and register. Step 1. Let us select for whom this account is for, personal or business. In our case, it's personal. We need to enter basic details like name, phone number, email and then set the password. Step 2. You can select the currency of your choice. For now, we will select the INR as currency. Here, we will fill the address in detail. Step 3. Verify the OTP sent on email. And just like that, you are ready to log in. After logging in, enter the board name in the search bar to find the board in the results. Or alternately, you can also access the board link directly from the contest page. Here we can see all the important information like manufacturer, data sheet, description, etc. On the upper right side, we can see the available stocks for the product. Enter the quantity here. For now, we will only need one board. We can see the calculated cost. Now let us click add to cart button. We can continue shopping for other products or view the cart to check out. Let us view the cart. If you are ordering from India, I recommend choosing the checkout with local logistic partner option. This gives you easy payment methods like UPI and net banking. Plus, you won't need to deal with the customs paperwork, no need to upload ID or address proof. The local partner handles everything so it's super convenient and hassle free. Now click on check out with logistics partner. Here you can see the price you will be paying. After confirming, click on the proceed to check out button. Here we will confirm our shipping and billing address. Now on this page it might show a warning saying enter your GST number. For that click on the edit button next to the address. And in the section where it is asking 
Do you have GST number? If yes, then enter it. Or if you don't have it, click on no. Click on the next tab. Select the application. For me, it's consumer electronics and others. Click on the proceed button. Now finally, we are shown with the total amount to be paid. After confirming, click on the click here to pay button. We can see available local payment options here. Click on continue and pay. Once the payment is successful, the order will get placed. You can download the order copy by clicking here. Now you will receive mail confirming your order. To track your order, visit checkout.actronics.com and enter your email ID. Max 7800 FTHR is specially designed for ultra-low power AI applications at the edge. It enables efficient execution of deep learning tasks without draining power. It makes it ideal for real-time applications like image recognition, keyword spotting, and facial detection. Its optimized architecture and dedicated CNN engine ensures faster interference, lower latency, and maximum energy efficiency. If you're planning to build your next AI project, the Max 78000 FTHR is definitely worth considering. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to participate in the contest. All the details and links are in the description below.